watching Hey, all you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. We have Mr. Jason Brooks here, ex-Peter Blake, to answer all of your Burning Days questions. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Well, hello, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On, where we invite past cast members of Days of Our Lives to sit and chit chat with us and go down Days memory lane. I am your host Tony Moore and I am joined by some wonderful co-hosts starting with the guy whose hair is higher than the longest episode of Days. <laughs> Which would be an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Margie Freeman here. And of course we have self-appointed co-captain. Matthew Evan Payne, <laughs> glad to be here. And of course, you guys know him and love him. He played Peter Blake. He is Mr. Jason Brooks. Hello. How are you? Good. Yeah, welcome. Yes, Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank welcome you. to, to oh, this, Is that me? Oh, that was me. So unprofessional. I, say, I know I turned mine down. Because <laughs> I always almost forget. Caller, please turn your <laughs> right. set down. Well, don't fret, uh, Days fans. We are going to uh, allow you guys to call in and ask Jason uh, some of your questions regarding his time on Days or any other of his uh, numerous credits that he has in this little town called Hollywood. But uh, first, <laughs> we're going to start dishing some uh, Days stuff. So, Jason, if you will please it's do the honors of okay, it, is right. it is official. And we set it. And, and forget, forget it. it. Help yourself to a pizza roll. I, yes. I made road, those I, myself. I have a feeling I'm going to get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make them from scratch, Mark? Made them from the bag scratch. Right. The yes. bag scratch. Yes. They look delicious, I'm yes. sure. Oh. At least I didn't burn them this time. All right. Uh, so, Jason, uh, first off, was was Days your first uh, big, like, I hate to say big gig, but like your yeah, first, like, Yeah, I mean, in terms of role? consistent work. And yeah. I mean, I was on for, as we were saying, just a little under four years, or mm -hmm. somewhere between three and a half, four years. So, uh, yeah, definitely. My, I had done a little, couple little things, but that was the first major one, yeah, for yeah. sure. Was it intimidating going into the, the soap opera realm? Because I, I hear from people that it can be quite intimidating, uh, especially with the fast pace. Yeah, I would say intimidating in terms of your workload. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I didn't know anything about the medium at all, so getting there, I, I had no preconceptions. and So it was just about learning my pages and figuring out where to be. And, and um, when I first started, I, I would go on set and watch other actors work, people who, mm -hmm. who I liked. Mm -hmm. And then I would go back and watch the episodes that would mark them and watch them, and so I could see what they were doing to make themselves more effective, you know. So, mm -hmm. Sorry, I've got to back idea. to you. That's here, okay. But, yeah. That's okay. Um, so, <laughs> so, so. Jason's being handsy already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so, um, I think I was more eager than intimidated. Really, yeah, that would mm -hmm. probably be a better description. That was more apropos at the time of my life that I was into. I was pretty gun ho about, about it. Who were some yeah. of the cast members that you would watch? Um, well, <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I watch I watch different people for different things. Right. So um, I watch Drake Hogeston quite a bit um, because uh, first off, he was you know he was the biggest star on the show at the time, right. mm -hmm. a, a really cool guy, and took me under his wing, um, kind of a thing. So I, I wanted to see what all the hoopla was about, you know, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I watched him quite a bit. Who was my first? I, I, I like really like Joe Muscolo. I, I really like I, I like him as an actor still to this day. I, th I thought he was doing some interesting stuff, and so I watched him. Um, I'm, I'm, it's probably going to come back to me. Uh, the people that I really really liked, but and other soaps too. Um, there's one guy I really always thought was a, a great actor. I haven't seen him work in 15 years, but he's on General Hospital. Um, Maurice Bernard. Bernard. Bernard yeah. yeah. So. He was someone I really liked at the time, and so I kind of looked at his stuff. But you know, a little off the other shows, but just you know, when, as an actor, when you're watching something, it may not just be for pure delivery. It right. might just be positioning, camera wise, mm -hmm. um, when to come in. You know, on your cues, just simple technical stuff. Right. And, and yeah. days uh, uh, soaps are the most technical of all the mediums. So. Um, there was a lot of room for learning. I had, I had mostly theater training up to that point, so it was yeah. just uh, And pretty much one take to nail it. 
That's right. Yeah, which mm-hmm. which was fine. I was up to that challenge. I like that. I like being in under pressure like that. Yeah, that, that, that's that's fine for me. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. yeah. How did you get into acting? Wow. Um, you know, I grew up in Los Angeles. I never and I really kind of never went for it. I had a lot of friends who did commercials and stuff, but um, I just heard it. What a bad business it was! Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's definitely an boy. They underestimated it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 and um, and so I never really did it. And then in high school, I I I there was a girl I liked, and I did a theater program. She was in the theater class, and I took that class. <laughs> and I remember doing of mice and men, a, a, a scene oh, wow. from of mice and men, mm-hmm. and going like, oh, this is this is fun. Cool. And I, I I liked I liked the feeling of of whether I was wrong or not having an aptitude mm-hmm. for something and and I felt that I was it was something that I was good at you know early on you know up until then it had pretty much been sports that I had that feeling at so uh, so I, I I was intrigued by that and uh, you know when I got out of uh, when I, f- I got out of college I went into business I figured that's what I was supposed to do and um, buddy and I opened up uh, Island Yogurt Island Yogurt yeah. <laughs> 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 <Just done your homework. laughs> hurry <laughs> uh, so so uh, yeah so, so we, we went and actually he he's now a very successful actor too Greg Grumberg he's mm-hmm. he does a lot of nighttime stuff and he's worked he Alias was, yeah exactly right Right. And Alias and uh, um, Heroes and yeah and, and so um, so I should go. But he and I were he were say the, yeah yeah exactly that's stuff. that's natural sex. <laughs> he, he and I were uh, roommates in college. Oh, we, wow. we had gone to high school together. We were um, and junior high school together, and so we were best friends. And we kind of sort of jumped into it a little, him a little later. He was writing first for a little bit, but then he finally got into it. And mm. um, you know, I, I mean, I was. I, I think 25, 26 years old, which most actors have been in uh, rehab twice by now. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it was really, it was kind of late, relatively speaking. And uh, but that's it, you know. No, 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 getting discovered at the Brown Derby or anything. Like that, <laughs> unfortunately. So you got the audition for Days of Our Lives. What was that like? Right. I had, I had actually tested previously for the role of Austin. Yes, mm-hmm. um, where I first met Pat Middleton. Uh. Sorry, it's hard for me to say his name without laughing. He's a good, he's a good, still a good buddy. Of mine, yeah. But, um, <laughs> but uh, um, so uh, I had auditioned for that. I had screen tested for that. Didn't get that, and mm-hmm. uh, and then out of the blue, they called me a few months later and just asked if I was interested in doing a recurring role. I started out recurring. I was not a contract role right away, and um, and then you know. I think it was three episodes or something and that grew to six episodes and ten episodes and it just kept going and yeah. finally my agent said listen we if you guys want to get an exclusive deal we'll have to tie him down because you know I can't just uh, yeah I gotta kind of know what I'm doing you right. know, yeah. I know if I'm going to the beach that day or not you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, let me know yeah yeah, yeah that kind of thing they um, sorry I was mm-hmm. just gonna ask something and now it's it's gone <laughs> all right oh hey. was it that, I'm that I'm that quick it's gone <laughs> <laughs> what, what cologne I'm wearing? Or yeah, something you, like that? it threw me. It threw me. <laughs> Go ahead, because I, I, I'll, it'll come back to me. Right. <laughs> well, I, and I, I always like the uh, the audition stories because we've had many people come in and they they said that they've auditioned for other roles before landing, right. you know, right. their role. So I always find that very interesting. I, I think it's probably standard. Gosh, when I look at my experience in in primetime television, mm-hmm. I mean, there's some shows I auditioned for. 10, 12 times before booking a role. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I think The Mentalist is one that I probably my entire career auditioned the most for. I don't even mm-hmm. know, but I know it was over 10. Wow. Over wow. the years, I finally did one. Um, but, you know, uh, there's just shows like that. It's just, just keep hitting and finally, like, you know, like you guys have done everything I can do. Yeah. yeah. You want me to play an old lady? I'll do that. <laughs> you know? Um, what do you need me to? What, what is it you're looking for? You know. Yeah. So, right. But it's just for them. It's just something that fits with what they're looking yeah. for. And yeah. I would imagine the same thing, especially contract role. You know, you have to. It's a it's a big commitment on both sides of the coin. So. Yeah. Had you ever watched Days of Our Lives prior to booking the role? I don't think so. I don't think I had seen much. I mean, I. I remember as a little kid, like our housekeeper folding laundry and watching <laughs> uh, soap operas and. Mm-hmm. 
that's was my experience with it. I knew nothing about it really, you know. So, and did you watch while you were on the show? Initially, I watched the first two three months that I was on. Tried to nip and tuck what I could do performance wise <laughs> and all that, but um, after a while, it just it just it, it, it can get too overwhelming mm -hmm. because you know I, I was fortunate enough to get into two big storylines, right? So. I was working 12, 14 hours every day, and it's mm -hmm. like you come home, you really want to get away from it. I had to learn my lines for the next day and things yeah. like that. And so it was just, it's just a little overwhelming. So I, I would, uh, like I said initially, I watched just to kind of put my work where I wanted it to be. But then, um, and then if there was something that I was really curious about, I would check in. I remember I had a, a, a fight scene with. Um, Mark Valley, who was playing Jack, who played oh, Jack right. during my yeah. he played during my era. There I, was I, another Jack, yeah. Mark. No. Well, there was <laughs> I mean, also Steve was, Wilder too yeah. played for a little bit. But oh. Matt, Matt, I know you're a big Matt fan. I saw yes. that clip, but um, <laughs> Matt was there only. I think he was there about three weeks of, uh, of overlap. I remember that. Yet. Yeah, yeah. And then he kind of he he went off, and so I knew him. Yeah, great guy, and and I, I actually liked watching his stuff because he always brought comedy to it. Yes, right? yeah. yep. which is really tricky to do in this medium. It, yeah. It's kind of you got to be a little bit renegade with it. So, um, uh, there was a scene where Mark and I got into this f huge fight, and I mean, just destroyed the set. It was one of the best. You know, of course, we staged before, and I'm sure they hired a, a stunt coordinator for right. the day, but. You know, once you get going, and Mark's Mark's an athletic guy. He's former military. Right. And, um, I mean, we just I remember just going over tables, couches, just lamps being busted and all that. And then you know, get up, straighten your hair out, yeah. you know, and back <laughs> off, Jack. Line, whatever right. I've said for yeah, three yeah. years, and yeah. then exited. You know, um, so I definitely tuned in to see that. There was also another time uh, where uh, a bunch of us. Um, I don't remember who else it was. I know it was. Brian Dottillo, Thyme Lewis. Mm. I, I don't know if Pat was in on that one, and and I did some uh, like Chippendales dancing oh, kind of a thing yeah, yeah, for yeah. someone's birthday or mm -hmm. engagement party or something like I that. Remember that? That and sounds very wow. familiar. Yeah, yeah. And so <laughs> well, that was last week. I looked at. I, I'll tell you something. If you ever look at that clip, shouldn't out him. We will I'm shortly after the interview. I shouldn't out him, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna if you look at the very beginning of it, Thyme Lewis comes out and he has clothespins on his oh nipples. Oh my god, I love it. He, we dared him to do it and he did it. Did he, he came out and he, he of course, <laughs> makes it part of his dance. That's Thyme. He, he yeah. flips him off. But if you look at the very beginning of it, he's pulling it up now. But I'm trying see, that's to. See, that's the thing. I have to be really careful what I, I know, tell you guys. Exactly. It's going to be thrown exactly. in my face very, very soon. So. I was going to say, though, like, I feel like a lot of times um, on soap operas, especially when there's an established super couple like Jack mm -hmm. and Jennifer mm -hmm. I do feel like you're you and the uh, uh, Peter and Jennifer was also like one of those ones too that p fans were kind of like I'm okay with this you know yeah. what I mean even though it was Even interrupted eventually yeah. eventually at first yeah. um, I got a lot of hate mail yeah mm -hmm. like a, you know that was like the most that was a really weird experience I mean yeah. there was yeah. Uh, like I remember going to, I think it was Eileen Davidson at the at the mm -hmm. time who played my um, sister. my sister, yep. mm -hmm. and I was like, these people know that this is just make believe, right? <laughs> they, don't. Like, they don't. They don't. I, they don't. And they it's don't. partly because it's on five days a week, right? right? Yeah. So they see that and they get very invested yeah. in the story. But I had a lot of people sending me mail like, stay away from Jennifer and all this, yeah. and, but they were clearly angry and so and but they had to be because they had to write a letter and stamp it and mail yeah, it we back couldn't just then. tweet you yeah well, see, back then yeah back then yeah, it was a big then. commitment yeah. to hate yeah yeah, yeah. Um, it's so yeah. much easier to hate people now right you know? yeah. yeah right you just like yeah, but, tweet yeah. Or, yeah but 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 so but so um that would that took a little getting used to but um you know, once I was able to get my mom to stop sending me hate mail <laughs> no but 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 people if it's done Smartly, yeah, mm -hmm. um, and I guess volume helps too if you just yeah. keep nailing it. Right, they they, they they adjust to it, and people really. After a while, there was people were voting more for Peter yeah. and Jennifer than mm -hmm. for Jack and Jennifer, right. even when he yeah. returned. So, yeah, um, but you know, that, I think that was again. I was lucky because it was a, it was an interesting storyline. Here it was mm -hmm. the the Snow White of the soaps, and then right. here I was a villain of the son, the the, the adopted s stepson of the. Or adopted son of the most, you know, evil Notorious. villain, and yeah, exactly. So, but you know, he's dead now. 
Yeah, that's what you guys were telling me. Yeah, yeah I didn't. I yeah, didn't. He's, uh, he's no longer on dance. I. That's. I mean, Flashback, not that he can't course. come back. He's the phoenix, right? Hasn't right. He's, right. It's true. He'll rise yeah. again. He's died before, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think this is it, though, right? Shot on right. Screen this time, this time so you see him gonna... dead, and there's pulse taken and all that. But well, yeah. you know, he reveals a mask. Right. That's very possible. Lexi or something like that. You know what I mean? He's also dead, right? Is she really? Yeah. There are. Lexi's dead. She died of a disease. Yes. There's oh, there's only she's one. So you don't age. watch currently. Don't, yeah, no, I I I. Your sister I fell out a window. Yes. Oh, uh, which was wonderful. Yeah. So she could be alive. Accident prone family, family, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm still in You're penitentiaries. Still in, yeah. Federal yeah. penitentiary. Mm-hmm. For all we know. Checkers. But, yeah. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe off camera, you were like, you broke out of jail and you've been hiding in like New Salem for all we know. <laughs> Or Louisiana yeah. with or, Ben. Or Aramid. Yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. the storyline. Yeah. Did you have a favorite storyline while you were on the show? Maybe Aramid. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It was, it was always a fun time. And uh, um, I think a lot of it overlapped with the timing of the show. The show was doing really well. Mm-hmm. It was number one in the demographics and rivaling YNR periodically mm-hmm. and at the time. And just a great cast and I think a great time you know this is all pre for the large part pre-internet really yeah. Right. Before yeah. the whole market was fractionated um, and so it was it was a good time people were turning in good numbers there was money to be made and, mm-hmm. and we had a really good era in cast you know like I said yes, Pat Muldoon the best. And, and, yeah, and um, Christy Clark and Brian Detello oh, and yeah. Thyme and all those you know we just we just had such a fun time we were all good buddies we saw each other outside of work and we would occasionally do um, personal appearances Lisa Renna was there at that yeah. time and, oh Lisa yeah. Renna yeah who was a, a, doll, a doll and so yeah. um, we, we, we you know it was a fun time so um, all of it really all of it you know yeah. it, was, you, it was just a great time you mentioned that you keep in touch with Pat is there anyone else from the cast that you still yeah, yeah I mean so keep in touch I mean in all honesty it's it's it, Pat is the type of guy where you know we text each other a few times a year F you you know <laughs> just catch up in that way right, um, yeah. Mark Valley was a buddy of mine I haven't talked to him in a few years but we stayed in contact uh Rourke Critchlow played Mike Horton mm. he was a good buddy of mine for a long time we've fallen out he moved to Texas for a little bit and I don't know. Our wives were really good friends, and they have split up. Uh, Rourke and his wife, unfortunately. So I don't, we, we sort of lost contact with him a little bit. Um, uh, Thyme I see once in a while. Drake, I would run into sparsely, but Drake was always, you know, like my guy. He's just yeah, a, yeah. he's just a great guy. great guy. He's a really nice Rourke. person. Yeah. He's a, he's, a, he's just he's a, he's a great guy. And yeah. just, there's no way the friends are ways about it. And, we connected sense of humor wise and mm-hmm. you know he's got a really crude sense of humor mm-hmm. and i've been known to go down that road if i have to and <laughs> i so, don't believe it yeah, yeah yeah exactly so so um but we we had a yeah so um eileen a little bit lisa a little bit i used to run into lisa every so often but you know you 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 fall out of contact you know i have, i had kids now and, yeah. and uh, were you at the 50th anniversary i was not i was out of town oh. and, uh, unfortunately yeah unfortunately i I didn't make it. Oh, Yvonne Guevara uh, played Ivan. Oh, that's yeah. right. Oh, yes. He and I were, are, are, are good buddies. And I love he's this in, He you? lives in... Uh, he's another guy who could do a lot of funny stuff. I used to watch his stuff yeah. like if we were in makeup and it would be on the monitor and I would just be laughing. I mean, he, he just... <laughs> because knowing him in real life, you re- realize some people are funny accidentally. He's... It's on purpose. Right. He yeah. acts like it's accidental, like it's just happening. He's very innocent, <laughs> but yeah. he's got a very dry sense of humor. Um, he's But he moved to New Mexico like... Ten years ago, so I haven't seen him in a long time. But we were we were going to go to the fiftieth party together and kind of right. crash it. But he, um, <laughs> he, he, uh, he I, I, I had to go out of town. So what know. a fun time to be on Days of Our Lives. It was a great. It was yeah. a I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, it, it was, was it was an amazing cast. And you know, it's weird because I came back after I left. I came back a few months later, four or five months later, maybe I don't, I don't recall what the time frame was to finish out the storyline. And I was on for three four months, and it's just a different vibe there. It was just yeah. all kind of quiet, and I guess I guess it was part cast changes, but also there was a trend that was you know the sort of uh, medium was downtrending a little bit. Mm-hmm. It was like the tip of the iceberg of all that, and and uh, you know I mean back then there was what 10, 11 soaps. Right. How many yeah. are now? Four. 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 Four.
So, if Days decided to release Peter from the penitentiary, would Jason Brooks go back? <laughs> it's weird that I, I I knew above all questions this one. <laughs> this one's gonna be on. Yeah. Well, we waited. Um, we waited another yeah. half hour to ask. Half yes. hour. So, yeah. So did we start on time? Technically, Ten, in a half uh, okay, hour. Okay, twenty minutes. Um, <laughs> uh, I, you know, um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, as Deidre Hall says, never say never. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I, if if the situation was right, mm-hmm. um, yeah. I, I, I could see that. I, it just the situation would have to be right, right. You know? yeah. And I'd have to know what they're what they're wanting to do. I mean, the, the only thing that's really hard about the um, the soaps. I was never as an actor down on soaps. I, I, as soon as I got there, within the first week, I went, oh wow, I can see what this is. This is very involved and great training mm-hmm. and all that, and it's presents its own set of challenges. Um, as does every medium, film different, television different, theater different, but. Um, uh, you know, it, I know I I felt at the time I was stuck saying the same thing for mm. large chunks of time, right. Right. and just the same people, right. and so that that sometimes I understand that that's geared toward an audience member who perhaps isn't a daily watcher. Right. right. Shame on you, by the way, who's right. not who's not watching every <laughs> single right. day. Every single right. Day. But uh, um, so we we if this if the situation was right, and yeah, I think I, I think. That could happen, sure. Well, and I think they're getting. We we talked about this a little bit on our on our show that I think they're getting a little bit away from that repetition because of the internet and people being able to. You have go to compete, and, yeah. Yeah. So now I think it's it's definitely. I've noticed that it's not as though they might like reshow the same bit, right? You know, like at the end of an episode, they'll show it at the beginning right. of the next episode. Yeah. But I don't hear a lot of the repetition that I used to. That used to annoy me. And, so, and what agreed. about? general overall exposition is that still and much they've like actually it? got well this is something that's happened recently with the new writers too is that they um, they're moving it quicker mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. like instead of it taking a month for you to find out or that somebody years. was drugging somebody right. it literally happens in three days I'm like oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah. we're yeah. going there we're yeah. going there already yeah. Yeah. So, so that's been nice uh, right. that's been a nice change because back in the day like you said if you watched an episode and waited four weeks to watch another one you were you still on the same day yeah, right. Right. so yeah, exactly. I think that's geared for a different audience I mm-hmm. think it's things yeah. are happening faster and the attention spans are different I mean look yeah. at you got Vine is what seven six seven seconds mm-hmm. yeah. Instagram 18 seconds I think mm-hmm. they my kid one of my sons told me that it they elongated the time frame but yeah. it's mm-hmm. all geared toward you know it's got to happen quick, quick that people don't they don't want to drag out and they, you know the other thing was like You'd be stuck in a in a, in a, in a storyline. You'd sit, you'd be saying something about other people's storylines. You know, yeah. I'm not going to talk to John because John has to go and you know yeah. start telling his whole story. Right. And, and that was a little that could get monotonous. But my time in days was really good. And and um, like I said, a great time, great great castmates, and and the storyline was fun. The material was good. It was just a lot of material. I was in two really big storylines. Was just really lucky in that medium. I mean, yeah. I worked consistently four or five days a week wow. um, yeah. and then on the weekends I would go and do an appearances and stuff and I was just thank god I was a young man you know? <laughs> I, was, I was really tired yeah what's yeah. the turnaround time when you get a script how quickly do you have to memorize uh, the, an episode I, I don't recall it's days though it's it's two three days or something yeah. like that I, yeah. I, if I recall this is you know again we're talking 24 years, 20 years ago so <laughs> I can't but, believe it's been that I long I know I can't either I was Seems driving like out here thinking it about does. it yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so um, you know and that's something else that, that's like any other muscle you work though memorizing lines that was you know that's always generally what most people come in and are most worried about like how am I going to do this but I found it was just like any other mu- muscle you, you exercise you get the more you do it the better you get so what used to take me two hours to learn when I first got on the show, 20 minutes. And then, you know, then it got to be where I could be learning it, you know, on the way to work. And right. I'm not advocating <laughs> driving kids. I'm just saying that, uh, which is the camera, by the way? The this one's There's okay, the tour, so and then that's the Don't, one. Yeah. don't uh, drink and drive either. <laughs> but no, so, no, I mean, so, you know, you're in makeup, you can learn. I mean, it's amazing yeah. how, how you can learn, and you have to do it, because if you're, if you wrap at eight o'clock at night and you're you're called now, they have the hours are different now from what I understand, but it used to be really rigorous back then. And your call time is six the next morning. You know, by the time you shower and eat, you don't have a lot of time to sit down and and it, not if you want to get a couple hours of sleep. So yeah. um, it's important to, to be able to to learn. You know, that quickly, so. and you can't really fudge the lines. Like they they want it word for word, right? They want it word for word. Um, 
trying to think how it was because we went through a couple executive producers when I went there. They were pretty stringent about it the whole time. If you made a little bit of slips here and there, they weren't, you know, change it in uh, or, or but or the or something. Yeah, but pretty much anything anything of uh, um, of point they would really want you to they'd have you come back and do it but I would like I said I, I didn't have that wasn't a problem of mine I was able to memorize it and say it and, and move on it was it was pretty pretty good I was good back then now I don't know not so much <laughs> well, I don't know we'll I, I, see. Say I was I was gonna toot your horn for you yes. because I had heard and you kind of touched on this that you had auditioned for um, Austin first, right? But that you actually didn't have to audition for Peter. They just liked you that much that they wanted you. Uh, I, I did not audition for Peter. Yeah. And it was it started out recurring. Yeah. So it wasn't a contract. Yeah, they they did call me and offer that's, me the role. So that says a lot. That does say a lot. That says a lot. Oh, all right. Thank you. I'll I think your better. resume proves it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> but you also, I I started watching Days when when you were on and um, and totally watching Days by accident. I was mm -hmm. one of those people that I don't understand Happened soaps. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I don't get it, but. You know, I'm sitting here eating, and I like to watch TV and eat at the same time, and it was on. So <laughs> I was here. Too, it's, it's, right? I figured, why not? He's they make each other mutually <laughs> better. Right? Yeah, it's just obvious. Yeah. But I thought it's you 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 played you played a villain so well. It was very well, like mm -hmm. smooth and very like thank what you. what did you do to like or what was your inspiration that you put into the character of of Peter? Uh, don't get fired. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I, right. I mean, really, really, like any other character, I, I, the way I was trained is just always make the character real mm -hmm. if you can. And so, if I felt if if I had made him this sort of maniacal kind of a villain, mm -hmm. that would be short lived. Yeah. And so, um, and plus, when there was sort of mention or we started heading in the direction of being a romantic lead as well, mm -hmm. I figured that was gonna really have to balance so i just try to try to keep them real and you know and not 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 crazy yeah you know yeah do callers know that they can call in callers do know that they can well, call you also, in so you also got the soap opera digest villain award That's i did villain. get that i did get that so. uh, my first year yeah that was that was a lot of fun um a fun time. So be proud of. Yeah, I was. You know what I mean? Like I've got I, awards at my mom's house right now. And I, I'm, I'm the I'm the fan that I like the bad guys. Yes. You yes, know what I mean? Yeah, like sure. The, as soon as they get like all cutesy, I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, right. I, I like the I like. The they always kept me bad, even when I was. Yeah. Uh, romantic. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was fun. Yeah. yeah. Good times. But even after days, you you continued to work. A lot. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did. Um, not too long after that, I, I did like a half season of uh, The Pretender at the time. And mm -hmm. then um, I was always doing, you know, a little bit of film work here, a movie of the week there, mm -hmm. a couple episodes of a show there, and, you know, a lot of guest starring uh, work. And then I went on, I did uh, Baywatch Hawaii. I took over for uh, Hasselhoff when, when the show moved to Hawaii. Was that intimidating to take over that role at all? You know, int in in well, intimidating. No, no, no. I th it's a it's a valid question. Yeah. I, um, I just didn't. I was at a time in my life where I really wasn't getting intimidated. Yeah. I was a young man. I mean, I yeah. was I was a beast back then. You yeah. know, it's a not. I just didn't get intimidated. I was welcome the challenge. So yeah. right. I think the 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 intimidating part of it would be just the physical demands of it. It was mm -hmm. you know we were in Hawaii the. The water and obstacles in Hawaii are significantly more uh, demanding and even treacherous, dare I say, than, mm -hmm. than Malibu. And right. so I really had to, I, I grew up in Southern California, so I knew how to swim, yeah. but I wasn't a swimmer. Yeah. And to deal with that, I had to become a swimmer. And so that the training for that was, was really rigorous and I took it very seriously. Um, uh, but I don't think I was ever intimidated. I think more excited and feeling that I was up for the challenge. and. Uh, and again, I met some amazing people there too. People that I'm really close with still to this yeah. day: um, Michael Bergen, Jason Momoa, um, Brooke Burns. You know, and just long-lasting relationships and things. And so that was really fun. And living in Hawaii was amazing. We had, you know, we had our first child. He was a newborn, and um, you know, and so that that presented the newborn thing and you're exhausted yeah. and you know and you're baking in the sun all day and um but it was really uh, an experience it was a, a great experience and a lot of fun and uh you know something i always look back on fondly really were you living in los angeles when you booked baywatch hawaii yeah you were yes so, so you just moved. had to uproot and we moved we lived there for two years yeah yeah, yeah. wow yeah, yeah and a great experience awesome amazing and the people i met there first of all hawaii is to this day is um one of my favorite places on earth, probably my preferred vacation when mm -hmm. I'm vacationing. Um, 
but the people that I met there, um, the, the guys who worked on the show, the crew, the watermen, um, became really good friends with Brian Kiolana, who's a famous big wave surfer, and he was our, our head waterman, and, you know, just, he, uh, I trained with him a lot in the water and stuff, and we got to do these really cool things. Uh, he, he was big on rock running. Rock running is you dive down to the bottom of the ocean, you're maybe 20, 15, 20 feet deep, pick up a heavy rock, and run along the bottom of the ocean obviously mm-hmm. to expand your, oh, wow. your, your your lung capacity so you can stand uh, for them it's as a big board uh, a big wave surfer you get s- stuck under the water for a minute two minutes sometimes three minutes at time so you oh, have to be oof. able to hold your breath yeah wow. so that, that was really fun Another yeah me too to I just no, got no, tremendous water's, anxiety water's scary and, yeah, and, is, and the yeah. water there it's not as consistent as it is here you, yeah. you get road, rogue waves and it's just you it's mean very it's not powerful. slow-mo like they make it out to yeah be exactly on? yeah it's not just very nice and slow that's right no not in Hawaii. I want to see the run. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, don't, I can't even do the run anymore. But but the uh, yeah, you know, and, and I got into canoe surfing and things. It was just it was just an amazing time yeah. time in my life. Yeah, it was fun. Well, before we we have to wrap things up with, yeah. with Jason, which is coming unfortunately very soon. We're going to mm-hmm. take your questions. So if you have a question, feel free to give us a call at four two four two five three zero seven four nine. Again, that's. 424-253-0749. We will take your questions live on the air. I don't know where that Jamaican accent came from, but I suddenly felt like I, Miss Cleo. I, like it. Yeah, I barely know, yeah. so it's good. Well, we do have some questions uh, okay. from fans room. in the chat room. Okay. Um, Casey Lynn asks, uh, what was one thing you learned from working with Joe Muscola? Joe, um, I'd say power. Joe's a really powerful actor, the booming guy and um, he was always funny because I'm sure you guys know he, Joe's from New York he doesn't have mm-hmm. that accent and so but he thought it was important to keep that accent at all times so you'd see him in the in the hallway oh and say, really hey, hey Joe how's it how's it going not too bad <laughs> <laughs> Dude, take it easy right? yeah you know we're not on you know but um, but just he, he was committed to it and yeah. so um, but you just make to make strong choices. I think that's that's what Joe did. Is he had a really good command, and I always loved working with Joe because of that. It's like I had to really be on my game. Some of the, some other actors, I won't mention them, but you didn't have to be on your game so much. Yeah. Um, but that's what it is when you work with different people. You knew what to expect mm-hmm. and and how to how to fill in the gaps on that. And so, yeah. um, at least that's how I always approached it, and that's how I've always approached it. And just kind of um, familiarizing myself with what they do and. Um, see if we can find some room to play around, you know, yeah. Yeah. that kind of thing. So. I was going to say, you know what surprised me about meeting you mm-hmm. is that you seem surprised that I recognized you. I don't know if you were surprised that I recognized you or that I recognized you from Days of Our Lives. No, it's a security measure. It's really- <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 really. I'm meaning, meaning, like, I'm, I'm, I'm essentially, in terms of my infrastructure, I'm a shy person, so right. I don't like that kind of attention I never was was so the, what did I say to you I said you look familiar too right you said so immediately you were, try to put oh, it that's on you right. that's I exactly tried to what immediately you said. try to put that's one of my my, my a game moves I try to put it on you right initially because I don't want to I don't want to get into some people come up and they're like what do I know you from you know <laughs> you seem so familiar and it's like you know some actors will run their whole resume, you know. Yeah, well, what yeah. have I seen you in, you know? Yeah. And then run their whole resume. Does, does this remind you? Is, is this your, <laughs> all your memory, you know. I, it's not my thing. I mean, look, like I, I mentioned, to you guys earlier, I'm not on any form of social media. Right. right? Yeah. Facebook, LinkedIn, Snapchat, yeah. Instagram, none of it. Twitter, none of it. None of it. Boop shot, none of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I'm not exactly. On <laughs> yeah. So, so. Um, you know, that's like my fatal flaw in this business is not, you know, I'm not a good self-promoter and I right. recognize that's to my detriment. I should. You didn't yeah. realize you had Day's biggest fan standing right yeah, in front I, of you. Yeah, no, I mean, you were, you were really nice about it, so I was just like, okay, you know, I mean, I'll, Where did this happen? At an audition. Uh, at an audition. Oh, okay. I yeah. ran into him and he was, it was, he was really nice about it. You know, some people make me feel a little uncomfortable, you know, put me on, on edge and, you know, so I just... Uh, that's why I'm here. I was like, yeah. hey, he's a good guy. He seemed like a nice guy. And a sincere oh, guy. he told you. Thank yeah, you. exactly. <laughs> I'm a good actor too, Jason. You're not the only one. <laughs> yeah. You just wait. Uh, Sarah Miller in the chat room wanted to know, do you prefer working as a villain versus a good guy? And if so, why? Great question. Um, <laughs> probably a villain because there's just more to do than, you know, I'm the guy in the tight sh- t-shirt and yeah. tight jeans kind of a thing. Um, that's never interested me. I, I, I've... 
uh, always liked characters that were real. They were flawed. They mm-hmm. had problems in their life, as we all know. Mm-hmm. That's what life is. It's not, you know, it's not how you behave when everything's going your way. It's how you behave when you're up against adversity and things like that. So that's what's always kind of interested me as an actor. So I'd say a villain, yeah, um, probably, or, or, like or at least a complicated hero. Yeah. yeah, it's always good to play a villain. I want to play a villain. Yeah, like I, my dream when I first started watching Days was to come on as a Demera. Right. I don't know how that was going to work out, <laughs> but. I was gonna come Find in. And we could figure yeah. it out there's there's the, well, easily. Yeah. What was, um, That's what the writing team is for. Yeah, there was a. What was Tammy? Uh, what was it, Gal? Uh, Celeste. Celeste. Yeah. Tanya Boyd. Any, yeah. Oh my God, I would have loved to be Celeste's son. Now yeah. it's Maxine's son, but right. uh, but yeah. Celeste. Right. Oh, and I could have had good. like the the premonitions that she did as well. Yeah. But I would have had to have an accent. That's right. I, I just remember. had a Jamaica one. Jumbo yeah. Fever. <laughs> she was in that that one. I had. I can't. When I came back on the show. I had jungle fever, mm-hmm. yeah, but different kind of jungle fever than the Spike Lee jungle fever. Yeah, was, not uh, that jungle fever. Yeah, I, like, I got a bug in the yeah, yeah. in the jungle and I was going crazy <laughs> and getting very violent with people. I remember one of my favorite scenes. Back to that question was now that I remember was when I got to shoot up the inside of a, a church with like a um, uh, automatic rifle. I yeah. don't know, you know, not that I would shoot up a church. <laughs> with automatic, and I'm not advocating that. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm yeah, sure the tweets are coming in right. now. <laughs> but, and but now I'm at a loss of words. Especially in this day and age, by the way, yeah, when people exactly. really do that. So yeah, yeah. scratch yeah, that. Yeah. that. Now you posed for the cover of a certain magazine. A few, I like to think Cosmo in my day, but Cut, a, right, Cosmo. seventeen. Cosmo. You let your hair <laughs> down. You. Helena Gurley Bond. Yes. And Playgirl. Playgirl. How yes. did that come about? Uh, they asked. I said yes. Really? Yeah. That simple. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I was at that. It was it was early on. I think that was ninety five. We said, and that mm-hmm. was somewhat early on. Um, maybe not so early on, but uh, you know, you, 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 they they were encouraging me to do a lot of publicity. Um, and you I didn't. wasn't going to appear nude in it. Obviously, they they, they didn't. That really was my next question. They didn't ask me, so which is somewhat offensive. <laughs> <laughs> if they had, would you have posed nude? No, I don't. I mean, no. no. I, yeah. I, I mean, I just because I knew I was going to have a family, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. My wife and I were, you know, starting to think in that direction, and yeah. you know, you don't. You don't want to put anything out there that's, and now you have to be so much more concerned with it. Uh, I didn't even know what was coming. My God, now, yeah. now I would no way. And I think yeah, people are yeah. paying less attention or caring less about actually just dropping it and. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I like how your IMDb page describes your your appearance in Playgirl as the photo, photos illustrating the interview inside show Jason bare chested with his jeans pushed very low on hips. Got as low as you can go without it <laughs> and, yeah. receiving a certain rating. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. how I saw you at the audition. That's right. He was pushing his That's how I go down. everywhere. I, said, I go everywhere I go. Jason? I go shirtless. It's very right. weird. Right. My age, I... So old you, habits die hard. <laughs> it's like you you walk you walked into the casting running slow mo, slowly That's taking right. your shirt off, and then presenting yourself as hi. Right. You look familiar. I don't yes. know where I know you from. Imagine that. Are yeah. you at all familiar with the newest Demera that's on the show, Billy Flynn? No, you, you were mentioned. So, uh, the, oh no, uh, okay. it's his man crush. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Who's? Ch- you said Chad. He, there is yes, a new Demera, plays, though, right? Yeah. And, and so he plays. He plays. He plays yeah, Chad. Billy and Flynn plays Chad. It's only him Amazing. and Andre. Well, really, him. That's on. That's like what, we can see what on is the, the what is the relationship? So, like, uh, how would he be related to me or Stefano? Uh, his mother, Madeline. Madeline had an affair with Stefano. Stefano. Okay, and she got. So he'd pregnant. be my stepbrother. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. The younger. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Stefano. Got Stefano, around. He did, and and had a lot of yeah. kids. Stefano, like Joe Namath and Stefano, yeah. right there, right? Yeah. Same guy. Yeah. Okay. Stefano yeah. had more sex than Peter. Yeah, a lot more. <laughs> Although yeah, Jennifer was pretty willing, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, he got around for sure. I, every time I would come in, he had a different, a different gal, woman, yeah, yeah. A different woman. Yeah. And yet he was obsessed obsessed with uh, Marlena, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Stuff yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Still, yeah. Till the day he died. I, yeah. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah. You took the but words I was, out of my I, mouth. I was hoping that maybe you could, because I know Billy watches the show. I was thinking, as his big brother, yes, you should recommend that he do Playgirl. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. I mean, good. I think it's. Is there like even a, a playgirl anymore? Uh, I mean, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Still in business? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your yeah. Subscriptions, okay. subscriptions are still intact. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Well, his is. It's his on auto renewal. His has been intact since 19. I got warm in here all of a sudden. Ish. Ish. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. No, uh, go ahead, man. <laughs> go for it. Go have, for it. Have you had a favorite role? Yeah, because you've had you you've had, you've had some good ones. Yeah, quite um, a few roles. You know, most of the stuff I really enjoyed was on stage. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did I did actually I did a play I was telling you earlier mm -hmm. with John Aniston who plays oh, yeah. Victor on the show. Yes. And after I left uh, uh, days, we did um, Death of a Salesman. Oh, right okay. after I left, and he played my I believe he played my uncle in that. Um, that was just one of the most memorable experiences of my life. Yeah, to play uh, uh, Biff Loman in, in Death of a Salesman. Um, partly because the play is so, I, you know, it's just such a, a traditional play and uh, um, uh, my absolute favorite uh, playwright. Um, but um, I'd say. <laughs> he he's brought the resume. He's done so much, you have to like yeah. look through. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, a lot of times, a lot of times, the roles, it's it's the people that I work with. You know, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed, I did a few episodes of Switched at Birth a, a few years ago. Oh, yes. And worked with Constance Marie. Mm -hmm. and that was, she's oh, I love her. So do I. Yeah. Amazing. I, uh, Amazing. Woman. I always yeah. see her as Selena's mom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So she yeah. was. Great movie. That was yeah. fun. Um, Not Selena Gomez, but mm -hmm. like Selena Quintanilla. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Selena. I know. Um, I love that we have to be specific. I yes. loved. I loved working with J.J. Abrams. I was lucky enough to do mm. a couple films with him: st uh, Star nice. Trek and um, and uh, Super Eight. That was fun. Those were good roles. Um, anything I was the lead in, I liked. Of right. Course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Who doesn't uh, like to be the lead? <laughs> uh, you know, some of the, the TV movies I did were a lot of fun. Alibi with Tori Spelling, we uh -huh. shot that in um, Vancouver, and that was fun. When fun was that? I think 98, I want to say, maybe 97, 98, and it was up in Vancouver, and it was a really happening time in Vancouver. I'm, I mean, I'm sure their, their film business is still really doing well, but back then it was there was more happening there. Than there was down here, and you'd go at Friday after you, you know you wrapped. Everybody, everybody would be in the Sutton Place hotel bar and just uh, you know drinking off their week, and, and uh, <laughs> you'd be seeing you know it was a who's who. It was really, and it was it was a fun. Just the '90s in general, amazing, yeah. just an amazing were, yeah. time in the entertainment yeah. business. Uh, you know, fun, a lot of work, a lot of money, mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, it was it was a, it was a great time. So a lot of the stuff I did, I, you know, I've never. I was, I was just looking through this. I was, you know, was, there's never really a situation that I've been in where I, I didn't like what I was doing. There's been some stuffs that were that were some projects I worked on were a bit more of a struggle, but those were mostly um, the, the, the logistics of it. You know, you're yeah. trying to do a hundred pages in twenty five days or whatever, right. even though. On a soap, we do that in a day. Right, but, uh, yeah. a different kind of a, a different kind of a, a makeup. But um, you know, most of the time, the problems were always we we're running out of time and money. But yeah. mm -hmm. um, I've been blessed to work with really just great people. Do you have a dream fun. role that like you would love to do? Because I mean, yeah, that, that's that's also a very good question. Um, I used to when I was younger. I, 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 I more really in the same theme of that would just be. Something that's really going to stretch me. Mm -hmm. Back to the question: Do I like playing a villain or a hero better? Uh, you know. Yeah. Um, I really want to. I want to do something dirty, down dirty, gritty. Mm -hmm. That's just stretches me out. You yeah. know, yeah. broken. You know, right. things that I now that I'm older and I have kids and I've lived a lot more life. See, really is mm -hmm. the essence of of, of living and mm -hmm. and and, and uh, um, so those kind of rules really attract me. I always. I always sort of fancied myself as a character actor trapped in a leadings man. You know, body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know it sounds that's bad. Great. I don't no, mean great. that in terms of my abilities. That's it's great. more in terms of um, the the demands of the role. What would right. draw me into something like that? And yeah. what, what would be would arise arouse my my curiosity and really stretch me a bit? Yeah. You know? Are there any actors that you're dying to work with that you have yet to work with? So many. Uh, I'm available. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so right on top of the list. Mark, 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 he's Mark he's right there. He's yeah. right there. Yeah. Above Alec Baldwin. I, I, I really like Alec Baldwin's work. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think he's uh, a guy who can do 
um, comedy and drama with equal skill. Um, True. So I'd love to get in there and mess around. Um, you know, uh, the, the the proverbials. I mean, yeah. Denzel Washington's one of my favorite actors. Yeah. yeah. Um, Gary Oldman is probably my all-time favorite actor. Um, uh, I mean, you name it. Meryl Streep. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. actually love to love seeing yeah. Meryl Streep. Yeah. I, I, I bet that would be fun. I was going to ask awesome. you, yeah. since yeah. you're yeah. talking about this talented Drum, dramatic and comedic actors about working with Eileen Davidson because I do believe she was playing all those multiple brothers and sisters oh, she, she, while and, you were on. Right? Yeah, she did it at the end of my my, my thing. Yeah, she was really was had a that go. like walking into her as a Eileen's <laughs> awesome. Uh, Eileen is a very strong and confident actor. So she's another person I have to show because she actually. When you asked me about changing the lines and stuff, she would change stuff a little bit like, um, you know, I'd say something to her, and this is early on. I mean, yeah. I'd been on show four months, so I, you know, I didn't quite have the freedom she did. And she had been doing soaps for years. Mm -hmm. And she would say something like, a, why are you saying that? But she'd say it as her character. And I'm like, uh, you know, and have to, <laughs> then it would be a little bit of an improv exchange. So yeah. um, she would actually call me out in her character for being expository. It was just kind yeah. of a funny thing she used to always do. I was like, oh, this is how she's going to do it. Okay. <laughs> that was a dumb thing to say. I'm like, you know that they're writing this. Right? Give me a little break. You know, give my, Cut it out, my, I mean. My downstage eye, like, you know, downstage eye, like, come yeah. on now. Sister, help me out. Um, yeah, she was, she's fun, very strong actress, really, really smart and, and you know, it, 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 when you're doing, like I said, you could be saying, you could be caught saying the same thing over and over again right. mm -hmm. every day to the same person. You want to have some fun and play a little bit, and yeah. she definitely was someone who, who I, I could I could play. I, you know, a lot of times I didn't I, I didn't get to work with a lot of people. When you think about it, right? I mean, you know, some people here and there, but mostly it's like same five people, four or five people. You yeah, know? Right. And that's why I think I liked the Aramid storyline where they brought some people and I got to mix in a little bit more with mm -hmm. with the, the other cast member. You know, it wasn't so. Uh, sequestered. We forget too when we're watching. We'll have somebody on that's on the show, and they're like, "Oh, we've never spoken." And I'm like, yeah. "How could you? How have is never that possible?" Right. Like, right. To us, we're like, "Cause they were yeah. they, they're all best friends." Yeah. yeah, that was a lot on camera. I, I mean, there was probably people that I never even had any exchange with, but I mean, seeing them, I was friends with literally every person there. Um, you know, uh, on on the cast, uh, just. Uh, we were just like we were just such a tight tight knit group, and don't forget, you know, I'm I'm my I, when I came on, Mac Carey was still there. Oh wow, he was right. still alive. Yeah. I, I mean, he was not doing well, well unfortunately, right. and mm -hmm. so he his workload was pretty rapidly diminished. But um, you know, I, I I was there. I knew him, and I worked with Francis. I actually worked with Francis. I yeah. had who was just lovely. Yeah, a doll, yeah. a doll, and, and a great sense of humor, and, and a wonderful lady. And how and, were the uh, donuts? <laughs> but she, she, she's just, uh, you know. So, I mean, those are the icons. Those are yeah. the, right. the, what the show was was established on. So, you know, that's that's um, that's where I came from. Even though I never worked with Mac, I, I don't think I has I said any words to him in a scene. I, you know, I appreciated what he meant mm -hmm. to the show and right. his, mm -hmm. his um, you know, his. Persona was, right. you know, was always there. So. A living legend. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, yeah. for sure. So and a great, a, a gentleman. I mean, a gentleman. Yeah. And I never heard anybody say a bad word about him. Uh, they better not. No, no. <laughs> but I mean, even 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 in passing, well, he was some. I mean, just a gentleman. Whereas. I had bad words said about me and to me on a daily basis. Of course, yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what comes on with being a villain. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think I think there's a diff It's a different generation now too. I yeah. think he was from a generation of actors where that's just how you behaved, and now a it's part of your professionals. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. It was, it's For very sure. Different now. Yeah. For so. sure. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it is that time where right. we have run out of time. Okay. But, um, <laughs> I see the sand. Yeah. Yeah. We're it's, pretty it's right start, on. It's, yeah. pretty, it's pretty spot yeah. on. Yeah. yeah but yeah. Uh, before we go, I do want to let you know, Jason, that we yeah. do a thing here where we always okay. have a hashtag bring a character back. Okay. So our fans have already started hashtag bring okay. Peter bring back Peter. <laughs> okay. Um, Sounds so, good. So that's going to be going around for a while. Sounds and I don't know. I think we've we've 
done pretty good when those hashtags have popped up. Mm-hmm. Those uh, characters right, kind of right? popped come up back? again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? So, we like yeah. to think that we have influence on that. Yeah, okay. yes. even All though right. we have nothing. Well, it's been a long time for <laughs> me. Yeah. It's been almost twenty years. So yeah. that would be. Would that be? So would that set any Aren't sort of record? Are you glad we bumped yeah. into each other? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Listen, would that be any sort of record? That it you, would be. Yeah. It would be. But it's it's totally fine. We can we can work out your storyline. Like I feel like you can come back into Salem. Yes. Um. With with a new friend. Hashtag Maxine Sun. That's that right. Me. And then, um, <laughs> you know, you can still practice law. I can go into hospital. I would we like to be back a man of, cl- of the cloth. You know, I think that would be, that would allow for a lot of places. There's an we opening now that Eric yeah, is stretched no in yeah. by, you know, and I think that would be, that would be interesting. But we're going to judge your juice on this and see yeah. if this can happen. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, we're going to make it happen. You guys tweet that out. Hashtag bring back Peter. Well, Jason, thank you so much for thank joining us today. Yes. Absolutely. So pleasure. much fun. Thank you no, for coming pleasure. in. And pleasure. of course, before we go, Mark, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love, L O R A Y N E L O V E. And Matthew? You can find me at Mr. Matthew Evan on Instagram and Twitter. Now, unfortunately, you can't find Jason anywhere. So. <laughs> no social media. No social media. So if find you me s- at the supermarket at midnight in the <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. Just yeah. Try and bump into yeah. him at the next casting. That's exactly. right. <laughs> just say hello. Make sure your vibe is good. Don't scare yeah. him off. Don't just say hello. Him. Love That's your right. character. Keep pushing. That's it. <laughs> Don't accost me. I'm not into the accosting. And, yeah. of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Lounge with Tony or my website, loungingwithtony.com. Again, thank Thank you so much, Jason, for Pleasure coming in. Thanks, guys. It was a lot and of fun. Days fans, don't go anywhere because right after this, we have Dish and Days with our very special guest, Robert Scott Wilson, who plays good old Batty Ben. We'll see you in just a few minutes. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 